Today we're doing OSBN on the hive that's using only empty comb and we're going to be adding the queen excluder to that as well. So we have three boxes high and we'll have a queen excluder on the second box. So what we're doing today is looking for four combs that are mainly nectar or nectar and pollen and moving those up above the queen excluder so that we have two frames on each side that are empty in every box. So we'll be moving up four frames into that top box. So let's have a look at what the bees have done in the last two weeks. So this frame is nectar and pollen. Just put our frames over here so we've got some space to put our frame in the middle here. Let's have a look at this side frame as well. Looks at that. And you can see they're only just starting to fill that with nectar. So we'll put that one up into the, the third box above the Queen Excluder as well. Got a few of these plastic frames that only one side is drawn out on, so you can see that side's drawn, that side's not. So I'm going to use these um, for opening the sides in here. So we now need to find some brood. Let's put that down in there first, just to make some room in our top box here. check if there's brood on this OSBN frame which I believe there will be from last time. You can see the queen is laying more eggs in this OSBN frame. So that's the side of our brood nest. I'll just start uh, check a few of these frames, make sure there's no signs of queen cells being made. So there's some drone cells there and worker cells. No queen cups or anything like that. Again, more worker brood. No signs of queen cups, queen cells. Again, more worker brood. No signs of queen cells. Again, more worker brood. A few drones. So lots of worker brood there still. Now let's see if there's any brood on this frame here, which is one of our new ones. And yes, there is. So more worker brood there in our new frame. Well, this is quite heavy. So this one is entirely nectar and honey. So this will go up above the queen excluder. Just pull this one out so we've got some more room in here for our fourth frame later. 
So we can assume that this frame on the edge is entirely nectar. So this one will go up the top box as well. So we know that most of these frames, all of them except this N1, is brewed. And we've put all uh, four frames that had honey or nectar on them into our top box. So we'll move one of these frames over and then we'll see what's down the bottom. Uh, so we can open up the sides on the bottom as well. Again, take out this second frame from the edge because it's easier to get to. And we'll have a look at our OSBN frame. So this frame's got a fair bit of drone brood on it. But no queen cells. Put this over here. And check out this OSBN frame here. Oh, I was mistaken last time. It's actually pollen that's in those cells in the OSBN frame. And you can see those bees hanging there, they're wax makers building new comb. So because the bees have hardly touched this, I'll put this second frame in from the edge and we'll put a brood frame beside it on the outside edge just to encourage them to build this uh, frame out. So I have this frame here that's been used for brood previously. I'll put this on the outside edge. Again we'll go for the second frame in from the edge. Plenty of pollen there as well as worker brood. Let's put this up on its side here. So that's all pollen. So I'll move that one up into the second box. And we can open up the sides in the brood box. And just put that one there. Frames going everywhere, but I'll just have a check of a couple more just to show you there's no signs of queen cells. It's all brood and pollen. One of these odd frames, it's got holes in it. There's one cup there, let's have a look at that cup. It's completely dry. And this cup here, again, completely dry. Alright, let's put it all back together.
So we're opening the sides on this side of the bottom box. Then in our second box, we'll put our frame that's all pollen. So we get all these bees out of the way and we'll put our second box on. to squish bees for sure this time. Well, it's now time for our queen excluders to go on. So we'll get the bees out of the way and put that on. and then put our top box on. So that was our third inspection on the empty comb hive using OSBN. So we've opened up the sides on both brood boxes down the bottom, moved up four frames of honey and nectar and put that above the queen excluder in the third box. Enjoy your beekeeping.